Hello video creators, welcome to Storytium. It is time for another quick Premiere Pro Basics tutorial. In this episode you will learn how to save effect presets, how to remove the presets, how to export the effect presets and how to import them. You can skip forward to one of these timestamps if you only want to see a specific part. Ok, let's now jump straight into Premiere and I'll show you how it's done. Inside Premiere I've already got this clip on the timeline and to show you how to save a preset I will first add one effect to this clip. For this example I will add the leaf color effect. I will apply this one to the clip and then head over to the effect controls panel. This effect allows you to isolate one of the colors in your footage and for this demo I'm going to select the yellow color. And then I'll randomly change some of the settings of the effect. I will increase the amount of decolor and also play around with the tolerance. Ok, that's good enough for this demo. Let's say that we want to save and reuse this same effect on other clips and in other projects. Well, that's the moment where you might want to save your effects as a preset. You can save one or multiple effects inside one single preset. If you want to include multiple effects in your preset, then hold the Ctrl key and then include or exclude effects with the left mouse button. But for now, we'll just go for the leaf color effect, right click on the effect and then select a save preset. Then a small window will pop up where you need to specify some settings for your preset. First of all, you can name your preset here if you like. And second, you need to select a type. This option is only important if you have used keyframes for your effect. In this case, we didn't use them, so for now we'll just leave this to scale. Later on, I will explain how this works if you have used keyframes. And finally, there's also an option to add a description to your preset, but this is not mandatory. Now we can click on OK to save the preset and then head over to the effects panel and then go into the preset section. Here you'll find the preset that we just saved. The preset now contains all the settings that we applied to the effect and we can now simply drop this onto another clip. Let's take this second clip that I've got ready on the timeline. If I drag the preset over to the clip all the settings are applied immediately. Ok, so how does this work if you do use keyframes? Well, to demonstrate this I've got four copies of the same clip on the timeline. The first one is a little shorter, but you'll see why in a minute. This first clip contains a simple blur effect with a couple of keyframes to create this super awesome blur fade effect. Ok, let's say we want to save this as a preset, so I'll right click on the effect and then select save preset. As you can see here we've got three type options to choose from, scale, anchor to in point and anchor to out point. To save you some time I've already made a preset with each of these options as you can see here. I've also applied the presets to the other clips on the timeline and now you'll see why these clips are a little longer. The first one has the scale preset applied to it. So if I now select this clip you can see that the keyframes are spread throughout this clip and as you saw because of that the effect animation is now also slower. The second clip has the anchor to in point preset applied to it. With the clip selected you can now see that this one has the keyframes anchored to the in point. But notice that anchoring does not change the timing or space between the keyframes, even though the clip is longer. And the same applies to the third clip which has the anchor to out point preset applied to it. The keyframes are at the end of the clip and the timing between the keyframes did not change. Next I'll apply all three presets to the last clip and show you that you can apply multiple presets of the same effect to one clip and also so you can see the difference here in the effect controls panel. If you want to remove or delete a preset, then go to the effects panel and open the preset section. Select the preset that you would like to delete, right click on it and select delete. After that click ok and then the preset is removed from the effects panel. And instead of using the right mouse button and then selecting delete, you can also select a preset and then hit the delete key on your keyboard. And if you want you can also remove an entire folder containing multiple presets with the same actions. But be aware that removing a preset does not remove it from your footage where you applied it to. If you want to remove this from your footage, then select the clip and head over to the effect controls panel. Then select the effect that you would like to remove and then hit the delete key on your keyboard. Or right click the effect and then select clear. In the final part of this tutorial I'll show you how to export and import a preset. This might be useful if you want to send your preset to someone else or in case you want to do a fresh installation of Premiere Pro for example. To export a preset, right click on the preset in the effects panel and then select export presets. 
Then browse to the folder where you want to save the preset, give it a name and then click save. After that your preset has been exported, ready to be imported or sent to someone else. If you want to import a preset, then right click on presets in the effects panel and then select import presets. Then select the preset file that you would like to import and click open. And as you can see the preset is now available here. Please note that you can only import a Premiere preset file, a .prf prset file. If you download a preset it often comes as a compressed file, like a zip file for example. So this means that you first need to extract these files before you can import them into Premiere. And that's it for this Premiere Pro Basics tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please like the video, that really helps a lot. Anyway, as always, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.